Hello everyone, my name is Nefis, and today we are going to be busting a couple of myths and confirming some very interesting facts about a set in ESO called Powerful Assault. Uh, Powerful Assault is a very popular set used often in PvE raids on off tanks or even main tanks, particularly in Maw of Lorcage and even Halls of Fabrication to help boost the damage of the group. But a lot of people are confused about how it exactly works. Is it bug? Does it only stay on the maximum of four people? Is it better than gallon way? And so forth. I'm going to answer these questions in the video as best as I can. So to review, we'll be looking at the set itself first. We have a max health, max stamina, and weapon damage bonus from the two piece to the fourth piece. For the fifth piece bonus, it says, When you cast an assault ability, you increase the weapon and spell damage of up to four friendly targets within 10 meters by 164, assuming it's cooled out, for 15 seconds. So an assault ability can be any of the following skills, and it's more from the branch of the Alliance War skill line. Warhorn, Rapid Maneuver, Vigor, Caltrips, and Magicka Detonation. The most commonly used skill to prop powerful assault for your group members as a tank during fights will be Vigor, which is a stamina-based AoE heal as an added bonus. The other skills like Rapid Maneuver and Ratchet Detonation aren't often needed during a fight or are too costly on your resources to use. Caltrips can be used situationally if you are off tank stamina DPSing in certain fights. So the first thing we need to look at is if Powerful Assault indeed does only affect 4 people within a 10 meter distance. And for reference for the end game distance, Blockade of Elements is 12 meters long, so the PA buff range is 2 meters uh, uh, less, so it's roughly almost half an inch or 1.2 centimeters shorter on your screen than the blockade is. So thanks to my lovely volunteers, we first determined that in a group of four people, including the tank wearing powerful assault, everyone gets it. But this didn't really explain anything beyond the tooltip, so with more volunteers, such as in a group of five, including the tank, we discovered that yes, in the formation of roughly equal distance, only up to four people got it. What was interesting too is that the only Magicka DPS present in the group on the right side did not get Powerful Assault. So this proved another fact about this set that a lot of people were curious about. The Powerful Assault buff is based on two prerequisites, which are Distance and Maximum Stam Pool. To confirm if Powerful Assault really did go to the people with the highest stamina pulls in the group, I brought in another volunteer who was a stamina damage dealer. So while ideally I would have liked to bring in two more Magicka DPS to further test the boundaries, I don't think it was truly needed and we also ran out of fresh volunteers at this point. So now with, two, now with six people total, including the tank with powerful assault, we ran into another interesting fact about this set. So with four stamina DPS present in the group, both the tank and the Magicka damage dealer did not get the powerful assault buff. So yes, it is possible for the person who wears Powerful Assault to not get their set buff. This means the set does indeed prioritize buffing those with the highest stamina pulls, as tanks typically don't have higher stamina pulls than uh, stamina DPS do. So with this in mind, we need to move on to the next problem at hand. Can we put Powerful Assault on more than 4 people? The tooltip, if you remember said earlier, uh, said that Powerful Assault can increase the weapon and spell damage of up to 4 people. So we tested this with the PA tank moving slightly away from the group with varying degrees of distance rather than being in the middle of the formation. Surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, the tooltip was very misleading. With distance as one of the two main prerequisites for Powerful Assault, we found that we can indeed put Powerful Assault on definitely more than 4 players at once. As you can see, the Magicka Sorcerer now was getting PA along with a tank and two others. So if the Magicka DPS and the Raid are closer to the PA tank than the Stamina DPS, they do indeed get a higher chance of getting Powerful Assault, although the Stamina DPS will get prioritized if the distance factor is taken in, into account, along with how many Stamina DPS are within that distance of 10 meters. So the timers for the PA buffs were different as we proc the set at different distances on different people, but the fact remained the same. You can put PA on more than 4 people, including yourself, and this means Powerful Assault is incredibly powerful for a PvE, ra PvE raid, where you can uh, put it on theoretically all the 8 or 9 DPS, albeit at different times. Depending on how your group is positioned for certain boss fights like Rocco 2 or Sachasa, and on how much you move in conjunction to these formations, Powerful Assault on your tank can be incredibly good. So is it worth getting PA in 2018? Is it worth holding it out and using it as of uh, the Wolf Hunter patch. 
if you want to min max absolutely a lot of people have asked me too if gallon weight is a potential contender for his off tank set or something in comparison to powerful assault and so far the answer is no uh, disappointingly, the damage boost from PA is a simply better utility for the raid group than Gallonway's chance proc for empowerment of light attacks. So Gallonway has a really bad prerequisite such as a 50% chance to proc on 3 people on successful blocking. So it be, it'd probably be a lot better if it was based on damage taken, and also the fact that it has a limit of 3 every second does not really impress me, whereas with powerful assault, the weapon and spell damage boost to more than 4 DPS for 15 seconds each is more effective. So that's pretty much it. That These were the um, uh, confirmed facts about Powerful Assault guys. And I hope, I hope this answers most of your questions about Powerful Assault. And thanks so much for watching for my video. And good luck on your adventures. I will see you next time.